Hey everybody, MTB Trigger and Ronald here with a bonus episode. It appears we are getting a wipe and patch 12.9 tomorrow based on a forum post from Battlestate just 30 minutes ago at the time of this recording. We're going to go over this quick because this is the fastest turnaround for a wipe that we've really ever had since they didn't tell us that there was going to be a wipe with 12.9, but let's get into this. So we're going to read the patch notes line by line in case you haven't heard them, and then we'll give you our thoughts at the end. So here we go. Things that have been added and changed. There's going to be a woods expansion. You're going to get new gear for the initial time you log in after the wipe. So you're going to have different PMC gear to start off with. They added customization of the head and voice when creating your character. For now, it's only two new heads for each faction added. You can't change your head and voice after the character is created. You will be able to do it only after a profile reset or wipe. There's going to be a new skill called immunity. They've also reworked metabolism. There's going to be reduced volume for when you walk through like a bush or vegetation. I personally am pretty excited about this. They added a chance to cause bleedings to the ammunition. Now some ammo can cause heavy or light bleeding more often than other rounds. Now some face shields and glasses will reduce the time of blindness and the effect you get from uh, flashbang rounds and grenades. Players will be receiving letters with a supply package for the first seven days of playing. They've added an all button in the purchasing menu. So when you're buying on the flea market or from dealers, you can select all items with a single click. Filters in the wishlist tab are now going to be modified separately and do not affect other flea market tabs. And a quality of life feature, you can use the enter button to confirm most actions now. So whatever you're trying to do in a dialog box in Tarkov, the enter button will confirm the action. Another quality of life, slot highlighting when dragging items in your inventory can now be turned off. And something that's interesting, armbands are now unlootable. So once you put an armband on, you squat up with your buddies. If you all have, say, a blue armband, then you won't lose it when you die. The letter that you get as a reward for the exit in cooperation with a scav will now come with a slight delay. Now when you have a thermal site or another type of site and you want to put it in your secure container during raid, that's no longer going to be allowed. So if you have a special rail or a special weapon mount, you're not going to be able to do that anymore. They're also adding new equipment and clothing, PMC tops and bottoms, body armor, rigs, smoke balaclava, and tops for the scavs. They've changed around a lot of weapon mods. They're simplifying Jaeger quests. They've updated some starting quests, uh, changed some conditions, changed some rewards, but they've definitely made some changes. They're reducing the bonus recoil reduction from the recoil control skill and weapon mastering. Character overweight starts at 35 kg now instead of 40 kg, which is going to mean that you're going to be coming out of the raid a little bit less thick before you start to have to slow down. Increasing the purchase limits for some ammo from the dealers. They're also adding a bunch of new weapons and ammunition. They're adding the Chris Vector, that's an SMG in both 9x19 and 45. They're adding the SIG MCX Assault Rifle in 300 Blackout. They're adding the UMP SMG in 45. We're getting the MK18 Mod 1 in 338. They've added the 300 Blackout and the 338 Magnum ammunition. And they're also adding various new weapon mods. They've made some adjustments to the AI. Killa is no longer going to have a bug where he can't hear you when you approach from behind. There was some issues where bots were hanging and behind stationary weapons, and they just have other various bot fixes and optimizations. And additionally, on the optimization thread, they've done some optimizations for animation in the interface. They've done optimizations of sounds stored in RAM, and they've done additional server optimizations. So they also have a number of fixes in this patch. They fixed things like the reflex sites on the GL40. They fixed blinding that was opposed even on thermal imagers. They fixed clothing things. They did some quality of life things that weren't exactly working. They did some weapon preset fixes. And then they did some odd button combinations that were causing grenade throw, things like that. There's a bunch of fixes in this patch as well. Nothing crazy, but it may be worth looking through that. And you'll be able to see that in the video. And we also linked the post in the Discord as well. But going through this patch, knowing that we have a wipe coming up tomorrow, 
holy cow, what a surprise. Ronald, as we read through these patch, what what are the things that you <laughs> that just jump out to you that you're excited for, considering we had no idea this was coming today? I think a couple of things that are impactful to the early game are simplifying the Jaeger quests is going to be huge. Also, the Woods expansion, everyone's going to be playing that. So at least initially, it depends if people are going to push quests right away to get XP or they're just going to go check out Woods and see how it goes. But Woods is always fun in the beginning of the wipe before it turns into just sniper all the time. So I think that's going to be uh, really interesting. I think overall, the biggest thing that surprised me was just that Nikita said in 12.9 that there was going to be no wipe with 12.9 and we wouldn't see a wipe till later in the year. So obviously he was having a little fun with us. <laughs> Agreed. And it's it's kind of funny because based on what was said before on Woods that we were going to get the expansion in between wipes. I was really excited to check out the expansion before a wipe and learn the new sections on the map. Now I'm thinking that with the redoing of all the Jaeger tasks, I might actually wait and experiment with those new tasks and going in and checking out woods as they come up because it's going to be fresh for everybody instead of we get to learn it in full gear and then come back later. That's a good point. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. I think it's important to get to level 10 to unlock the flea market relatively quickly. And then from there, you know, you just figure out which parts of the game you want to focus on and explore. Yeah, I agree. And <laughs> I, also, I thought it was funny, too, that after all that conversation we had about thermal scopes and finding the mounts to reduce space and get <laughs> into the containers, we kind of know now how Battlestate feels about using creative mechanics to thwart their case filtering systems. Yeah, for sure. It, it seems to make sense, though, because it was kind of a weird hack that they were doing. So I don't have a problem with that change. Agreed. And then I, I guess the other thing that just absolutely jumps out to me is I'm really glad there's something, even though it's minor, that we're going to have the goggles and glasses that reduce flashbang duration or severity. I'm glad there's something that's going to at least make me feel like I'm doing something to reduce that effect because those flash shotties have been plaguing me recently and they're super prevalent on factory. So very, very interesting. But that one is actually kind of exciting for me. I'm curious what that reduction actually is. Yeah, I'm also interested in like the weapon preset changes just to kind of see functionally what they're going to do with that. They've added a few and looks like they're going to change the way that the preset process works. I hope they change or update without telling us the weapon cannot be placed in inventory because there's not enough space problem. <laughs> yeah. Because that is probably the most annoying thing about the way that weapon modification works. If they could nail that down, honestly, the system is pretty solid. So kind of excited about that. Also curious about the vector to see how that's implemented in Tarkov. You know, other games like PUBG, the vector is implemented there a certain way. So I'm curious to see kind of what they do with that. Agreed. That's one of my favorite guns in PUBG. So I'm excited to use that as well. But what are you thinking? Are you thinking, what are you going to do? Like we have one day to do pre-wipe activities. Is there anything super exciting you're going to go to tonight? And do you have a strategy for day one on the Tarkov wipe tomorrow? You know, it's interesting because I'm not sure what I would play differently pre-wipe other than maybe just trying some memeing things with, you know, you or community members just for fun. Strategy day one is going after XP. I think that the first time I played the game, I didn't know what I was doing. The second, the second wipe, I did a balance of scaving and XP and I think I'm just going to play more with my PMC this time around, and I don't really care if I die. I know that making money is what it is in Tarkov, and I'm not worried about doing that. It's more important to level in the beginning to stay somewhat competitive. So that's why I'm going to start. I'm just going to try to push levels. How about you? Yeah, I think I'll probably alternate task progression and experience progression. I look forward to getting into factory with all of my level one brethren with no gear, no guns, and just the absolute slug fests that those fights are. So I also look forward to woods and the fact that there's going to be more people on woods, presumably, because I think it was said in one of the podcasts that they're going to up the player count on woods because of the expansion and that there's not going to be any like long range scopes or at least very few outside of the fun and raid ones. So I think woods is going to be a lot of fun. So I'd like to push tasks to get to the woods stuff so that I can spend some time there and be progressing. And then I'll probably weave some factory in there as well. Same. I'm probably going to try woods once or twice just to see it. 
that's where everyone's going to be and focused on. So I'm going to go around the other side of this and get the early customs tasks done, push through some of the early stuff to get uh, Jaeger going and get Peacekeeper going. So I, just, I think it's a good opportunity just to get all that stuff done while everyone else is focused on woods and killing each other there. And then when time comes, we'll be able to to do that. That's I think that's how I'm going to approach this wipe. Awesome, man. Well, I'm just super shocked that we got this news today and that we both were able to take a quick lunch break here and and get this done. But I am excited. It ruins like all of my plans over the holidays on how I'm going to fit more time to do this in. But I am excited. I think the timing's good. I'll get over the fact that my inventory is going away. I think overall, I'm, I'm stoked for the Woods expansion. I think that's great. I think Uh, to echo a point you made as my final point, and I'll let you take us out, is I'm excited that they're continuing to do stuff for the early game, the new player, the reset account, the, you know, the supply mail, the easing of Jaeger tasks is what it sounds like or changes there. So I'm just excited about that. I think the new player experience can be super challenging in a game that is already extremely difficult. So I love seeing that stuff in the patch notes, and I'm just pumped for the Woods expansion. I'm excited for the player base overall. I think that there's going to be a lot of people that have some time up around the holidays and because of that they'll come back because they're excited about the wipe it's always fun to play early wipe because people are excited and um, there's just lots of people playing so i'm i'm really looking forward to that i think the woods expansion is going to be interesting i'm not sure if it's going to be something overall that impacts my play style or changes the way that I do things once I kind of get in the mode of playing the things that I want to play, but we'll see. And looking forward to making some shows about the Woods expansion as we get into it a little bit more. But overall, I just think it's going to be fun for me mostly just because of the number of people that are going to be playing in the next couple of weeks. So that's about it. Agreed. Well, all right, everybody, quick episode. We're going to call this 51.5 because we're still in the editing process on the anniversary 52 episode, but wanted to get this out there for those of you that don't necessarily check patch notes or don't have notifications on in Discord. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have fun with the new wipe. Uh, Looking forward to all the stories in Discord. And because we have an opportunity that we were otherwise going to be posting after, just wanted to say Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to all of those that celebrate. Hope you guys have a safe holiday season and we'll see you guys on the other side. We'll be in Discord and we'll look forward to 2021 with all of you. Yep. Sounds good, everybody. Uh, Be sure to hit us up in Discord, tag us, let us know all the crazy things that you're doing and the crazy things that happened for you uh, in this early stage of the wipe. Definitely looking forward to it. Have a good break, everybody. We'll see you in game. See you guys.